play this game. Right, let's, just, uh, let's just talk about this here, okay? Do you guys recall when we had frequency distributions? We had frequency distributions. And then once we had those distributions, we drew pictures of things called histograms, okay? Histograms. And we talked about it way back when. We said sometimes you have histograms that look like this. OK? And we talked about this. Then I drew this picture. And then I asked you guys, what does that look like? And we said, ah, this is a what? A bow-shaped curve. Well, yeah, it's a bow-shaped curve. But what it simulates is a distribution known as the normal probability distribution. OK? And what's special about this distribution is there's a, a lot of phenomena. A lot of phenomena behaves this way. OK? Things that grow naturally, normal distribution, things that are natural, like things like growth. Do um, you guys know that your height is something that's supposed to occur naturally? Even though we have different heights, there's differences in us. But it's supposed to, we're supposed to grow naturally, right? There's nothing. We're not taking these hormones to, to modify our growth. What about weight? Same thing. We're supposed to you know, have certain weight associated with us. OK? So these are sort of some of the basic ideas behind the normal distribution. Things like height and weight. You also have like IQ scores. Do you guys know even our intelligence is supposed to all be something that develops naturally? Now, what's happening is this. For these sort of situations, we have people, and we like to think of people as sort of being the same. But they're not the same. There are some people who are taller and some who are what? Smaller. But most people are in the center. They're in the average. Is that right? Even in terms of weight, there's an average weight. And some people weigh more. Some people weigh what? Less. Even in the IQ scores. There's a typical IQ score. Most people are around that score. Some people measure higher. Some people measure what? Lower. OK? So things that happen naturally usually have this type of distribution. It's called the normal probability distribution, um, the center of which is the average, the mean. And by this histogram, you notice that most people this has the highest frequency value. Most people are around the what? Around that center. They're around the mean. OK? You guys OK with that? Anybody have any questions so far? Um, you know the water in your water bottles? OK? You purchase volume of water? Do you guys know that even if you were to get another bottle the same size, the same item? It's not going to have the exact same volume. It's going to be slightly off. It's going to follow this type of distribution, where most of those water bottles, in terms of volume of water, are around this mean. Some are going to have more, much more. Some are going to have much less. OK? But it's going to follow this normal distribution. Um, even components, right? Well, maybe we shouldn't use that analogy. Eddie will understand that analogy. Do you know Eddie, for instance, like a resistor? 
Yeah. Exactly. You know that resistors, if you buy an 8 ohm resistor and you measure it, it's not even exactly 8 ohms. Well, what's happening is this. Um, depending on the process, still, depending upon the process, um, they may, may have a more accurate version of that resistor of 8 ohms, or even capacitor, doesn't matter. Because the process that they use is much more accurate. It still isn't, may not be exactly 8 ohms. It'll be around the average of 8, but some will be really, be, and some will be less. So what happens is the more expensive the component is, the more it's closer to that mean value, more consistency you have. Okay, And that's no different than even thinking of people in terms of their height, their weight, their IQ score, a water bottle, it's no different. Okay, because we value consistency. Okay, you guys okay with that? All right, let's see. So, um, we'll, we'll note here that we have a certain center and a certain consistency associated with this normal distribution, with the averages and how consistent it is. Okay? And every physical phenomena that behaves naturally, height, weight, IQ scores, even processes, um, have a certain mean and a certain consistency value. Okay? Now, technically here, x is a random variable that is known as continuous, meaning it could be any real value, not the discrete values we've been talking about, like x is 0, or x is 1, or x is 2. Now the value of x can be 1.3976, or the square root of pi, meaning the value of x can be any real number. Like the volume here for this water bottle, even though it says 25 fluid ounces, it's not exactly 25 fluid ounces. It's probably more than 25. Because if they do not put more, then they're actually breaking the law. It's called false advertisement. So it's probably something like 20, 25.86973241. And however accurate you want to be, you can be that accurate. But it's more than 25 fluid ounces. Okay. So when we say that this is a continuous random variable, what we mean is that the values can be any real number. Real number being on the real number line. Remember that real number line from algebra? Remember that? The values can be any real number. Not discrete values, like counting arrivals, zero arrivals, one or two. OK, that's what we mean by real value. OK, fine. So before we start to really go through some applications of this distribution, we have to play what I call the uh, you know, guess the percentage of the bell, that shaded game. So first, before we start that game, I'm going to ask you this question here. This is a bell, OK? And although my drawings are never really that great, the center of this bell is their mean, mu. And what do you guys notice about this bell. It's supposed to be symmetric. You may say, what does symmetric mean? It's supposed to be symmetric. And you say, symmetric about what? What is symmetry? Do you guys know what symmetry is? Anybody know what symmetry is? Do you guys know what a definition of beauty? Some people feel this is the definition of beauty. It's a face that is what? Symmetric. Do you guys know our faces aren't as symmetric as we think they are? What do I mean by that? If you draw a line 